Hi, my name is Wiko Chang. I'm the Chief Consultant of AI Consultancy Limited. Today, I would like to use this short video to explain what is Agile architecture and how it can help you to realize digital transformations. The COVID pandemic turned our world upside down. You have been desperate in keeping your business running when more than half your staff are work from home. Not to mention how to carry out digital transformation. That is, swap your products or service delivery channel from physical to virtual and still able to delight your customer in this fast changing world and survive. There are so much definition and information available regarding digital transformation. You can easily find some of them to suit your purpose in the internet. So I don't spend time to explore it in details here. In the context of our discussion today, digital transformation, put it simple, means satisfy your customer faster or agile in virtual manner. In that sense, agile methods like Scrum and Lean have been a hit way out to enable business agility and digital transformation in recent years. Agile methods are originally bottom-up methods. When applied to enterprise-level scenarios, they need to be integrated with other applications and IT architectures. And thus, Agile teams' autonomy and agility are restricted. Or, if Agile teams choose to disregard such constraints and deliver porn solutions, soon the IT environment will become a mess, or so-called a big ball of mud. Ideally, you should have an architecture blueprint in place when you kick off your Agile transformation journey. However, traditional architecture development methods are waterfall and top-down under so-called BUFD or Big Upfront Design Approach, which takes months or years to develop before they can deliver applicable design for development projects. Even for those organizations which already have architectural practice in place for a long time, most of their legacy designs are not able to evolve fast enough for agile developments. The industry has developed scaled agile framework to address big scale or enterprise wide development scenarios in recent years. Popular scaled agile framework like SAFE, normally treasure emergent design, they are useful to help you coordinate or synchronize the architectural designs or works from each individual agile teams together. However, they fail to provide the first cut of an architectural blueprint to jumpstart your agile development and show you what is a good and robust architecture sufficient to support and sustain your digital transformations. Although a big upfront design is bad, a small or just enough upfront design is definitely necessary and critical to guide a healthy overall architectural development and avoid becoming a big ball of mud. In short, besides Agile methods, you still need a first cut of Agile architecture blueprint that can be developed in short period of time, like weeks, to jumpstart Agile teams' work, but at the same time, still robust enough to support your digital transformation journey. How is such an architecture blueprint looks like? 
To enable agile development requires an architecture practice that is quite different from traditional top-down approach. We can call it a minimum viable architecture, MVA, or just enough architecture, plus evolutionary architecture. The term was borrowed from minimum viable product of agile development method. The idea is that you can start with a primitive skateboard, which has already been able to serve the purpose and deliver quick wins. Then follow evolutionary approach to evolve into a bicycle, a motorcycle, and ultimately a car, with higher value delivered along the way in each stage. Instead of going through months or even years until the car is completely built in a big bang approach, as in the uppercase of the diagram, which are much more risky and uncertain. How does the MVA supporting digital transformation look like? A critical concept as promoted by Gartner in last few years is composable enterprise. The term has become so hot these days. You can click the link here to watch a short video by Gartner to explain the concept. You can also find tons of information by searching the internet with the term. To understand what is composable enterprise, the important keywords here is business capability. In a large cell, composable enterprise means a business componentize or modulize its functions or capabilities as cohesive and loosely coupling building blocks such that they can be composed as needed to realize new business opportunities or to respond to customer requirement changes on the fly. You can see that Composable enterprise concept match nicely with digital transformation initiatives because apart from its fitness with business agility, it can be developed through emerging or evolutionary manner by replacing enterprise system building blocks one by one. Also, if you make any mistake in the development of particular module, you can redevelop or replace it without affecting other components or building blocks, thus substantially reduce the overall architectural width. So how to design and build a composable enterprise with business capability building blocks? The capability-based planning of Open Group TOGAF is one of such methods. It shows you how to derive a capability map, which is the MVA we mentioned earlier. We offer a training course on TOGAF and capability mapping. I will talk about them later in the video. If capability map equals to MVA, Will it take long to develop? Actually, you don't need to develop it from scratch. There are quite a number of industry ready made business capability reference models available. I include here a number of them for your information. Some of these modules, including the ARCs for retail industry, Bayern for banking, and IATA for the travel industry are free for download from the internet. Other models, like the IBM industry models and Accord insurance business models, are only accessible by their corporate members, but you can also purchase them at a reasonable price. You can leverage on industry reference model to minimize upfront requirement finding and design effort to develop your first cut MVA or just enough architecture or models in short time frame. You are welcome to contact us should you want to know 
if there are reference models available for your industry. Now, we have the MVA, that is the capability map. How it helps when we are architecting for new application system development projects? When studying new system requirements, value streams are commonly used by the agile methods like SAFE to model customer requirements. Value stream can be also considered as customer journey or customer experience. Here, we use banking industry customer onboarding as example to show how capability map can jumpstart the agile development project. We also use buy and service landscape, a banking industry reference model to customize or tailor our 2 b capability map in very short time frame. Then we can simply cross map business capabilities to support each value stream stage as building blocks we mentioned earlier. A um, major merit of this method is that it drives the architect to reuse existing business capability first and only create new capabilities as shown in yellow color here or modify existing one when necessary. Also, since business capabilities are loose coupling, exist, existing capability can be easily reused and new capabilities can be developed with minimal impact on existing architecture. Lastly, let's have an overview of how Agile architecture support Agile development. Number one, it won't take long time or quick effort to build such MVA or just enough architecture. You can leverage on the ready-made patterns and models to come up with, for example, a high-level enterprise capability map, that is, the minimum viable architecture. Number two, when there is need for new development projects, model the new value stream and supporting capability using safe TOGAF capability-based planning or business architecture guild value stream capability cross-mapping method. Number three, the capability map from step one and value stream from step two can well serve as the first cut of MVA for you to kick off your Agile transformation initiative. Number four, you can leverage on industry models like buy-in and data modeling tools to derive detailed logical or physical data model to support these new Agile projects. Number five, again, based on the capability map, you can develop the details of new capabilities using microservices and domain-driven design approach for those new projects. Lastly, this microservices design, detailed logical data model, plus automated forward reverse engineer tools like Urban Data Modeler can support Scrum team to deliver target system iteratively and evolutionary. We offer flexible and comprehensive training course to equip your staff with all the core knowledge of Agile architecture development cycle. The courses include how to use industry reference model to develop MVA in step one, scale the Agile framework like SAFE to help you derive value stream in step two, business architecture guild BICBOK course for value stream capability cross mapping to support step three and five, an Agile data modeling course for well-designed resilient data structure. Lastly, you can use Irving Data Modeler software to support model-driven design and CICD pipeline in step four and six. Thank you for watching and 
please contact me should you want to know more on Agile Architecture, the training courses, and Irving Data Modeler.